throughout your filmmaking journey, you are going to acquire a lot of gear. However, in my opinion, there is one piece of gear that should be in every filmmaker's bag, and that is a wireless video transmission system. What's going on? My name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out videos to help you guys grow as creators. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Disclaimer, before we go too far with this video, I was sent this product for free to review. However, I'm not getting paid by them. This is my honest review of this product. The people over at Assume were kind enough to send both of these out for me to review so I could test them side by side and really show you the difference from one to the other and kind of determine which one might be right for you. We can go down the pros and cons, all of those things. Let's talk about the Cineview SE first. First off, it's very very basic box, nice and clean. I like that. You open it right up. You've got your paperwork right on top, as well as you can see your video transmitter and video receiver. They're both labeled really well, so you don't get them mixed up. Uh, it says that you have dual bands on the front, as well as it's got four laid out buttons. And then on the side, you have your HDMI out, as well as your SDI out. On the back, you've got your spot for your NPF battery, which is not included. On the other side of the unit, you have two different spots to plug this thing in. And then you've got a rolling wheel that will change the channel you are on. The transmitter has the same four buttons on the front. Again, you've got your five volt in and your DC for your power or updating, as well as you've got the channel. And then on the back, again, you've got the spot for the NPF battery. On the bottom, you've got a spot to attach it to a camera. The transmitter and receiver both take four antennas, as well as they send you an extra antenna in the box, just in case you lose one or break it. You also get two quarter 20s, two cold shoe adapters, so you can hook this on top of your camera if you decide to do that. The Cineview HE is laid out the exact same way. The only difference is this is just an HDMI unit. However, it has a UVC out so you can hook this up a completely different way. Again, you have the four buttons on the front, same LCD screen, USB type C, DC, as well as your scroll wheel. And then on top, you've got your four antenna slots. It does come with those rigging attachments, just like the other one, the quarter 20 to the cold shoe adapter. Uh, it does not come with MPF batteries. Neither one of these do. Not a big deal, but I do need to mention it so someone doesn't buy this and then assume it comes with batteries. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about the specs. I'm going to be talking about both of these, the only difference again is you got to remember one is HDMI and one is SDI. So the SE and the HE receiver can receive up to four transmissions. That's phones, tablets, plugging it into your camera, plugging it into a TV, whatever you're wanting to do. That's giving you four different signals. You're getting a 1080p 60 frames a second transmission up to 1200 feet. It's USB slash UVC output. There is iOS and Android app support through this. It's got zebras, LUTs. If you notice at the top of the transmitter and receiver, it's got a 2.4 and a five gigahertz dual band frequency. Basically means it's going to know when the change to give you a better signal. On latency, they're quoting that you're getting 60 milliseconds. We'll get to that here in a little bit on what my testing was on my end. And there's so many more things we didn't talk about like the auto channel selection, the group pairing, the fanless design, so many more things. I'll link it in the description below so you guys can read up on all the specs. Now, before we get any further with my pros and cons, let's talk about the sponsor of this video and that is Motion Array. Every title you guys have seen in this video has been provided provided by Motion Array. I have been using them for months now and I can happily say it was one of the best decisions that I've ever done. Being able to get on their website, find a title that works for the video that I want, download it and have all the customization that I want to be able to change it to fit the vibe of my video very quickly and have a really good turnaround is always ideal. No matter if you're in Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, they've got you covered on titles and templates as well as sound effects and other things like that. I will have a link in the description below that gives you guys a discount code for an already really good deal using Motion Array. Thank you so much Motion Array for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. Okay, signal is still solid coming up to the corner of my street, uh, probably about 100, 125 feet away. Still good, solid, and I am uh, a distance from my house. So it's kind of impressive. Still no signal drop. Probably coming in on uh, 175 feet. Probably at around 200 feet right here. It is way down there at the end. So coming back, I wanna try something. I wanna try turning left down my street so I can uh, see being out of 
line of sight, how the signal does. I'm going completely another block over. Still no signal drop, and we are coming to a whole new block up here. So I am insanely impressed. I can't even see my house. If I turn around, I'm way, way, way over there. Still no signal drop. Coming all the way up to the corner of the street, and I finally drop signal. See if it changes back. See if I turn around. Nope, no signal. Oh, there it is. All right, so we lost it about 300 feet, uh, no line of sight. And I'm gonna be honest with you, if you are uh, pulling focus or needing to monitor something that far away, uh, not in line of sight, I know they say up to 1200 feet, but honestly, if you're going over 300, you might wanna reevaluate what you're doing. So for the latency, I hooked it up to my Atomos. I had it hooked up to my FX3, set them both on the same desk, and then started waving my hand in front. Sometimes getting a real world testing gives us a better idea. Uh, you can see as I'm waving my hand, there's a little bit of a lag. And then when I'm pulling my hand out, you can definitely see that it's a couple frames behind. Nothing terrible. Then I brought up my phone. You can see when the timer started running and I paused it, there's about a 0.10 difference. Then I tested it again and we were about 0.17 off on the second one. So it does vary a little bit. Uh, it's not a super scientific test. However, you can see a difference from one to the other. When I had the monitor, my iPhone and my iPad hooked up, you can still see there's a little bit of latency from each device each one is varying just a little bit more again this is not super scientific so don't take this to the bank there could be many reasons why we're getting it thrown off a little bit but i do want to show you guys these testings because it is important now lastly, before we close out this video, let's talk about my pros and cons. Pro, I would definitely say that it's a compact size. It's really well built. The range test, it did really well. The speed test, any of these video transmission systems I've come across, there's always a little bit of latency more than I would like. Honestly, if you're ever going to find a wireless video transmission system that has very little to none, it is going to be a very expensive one. And that's really for the pros. I'm talking like you are on a big thousands of thousands of dollars shoot and someone's pulling focus and has to be within a millisecond of each other to be able to pull that focus. But overall, I thought the speed test wasn't terrible for what this is in the price. Now, that's the other thing to consider price. The Cineview SE is $649, and then the Cineview HE is $499. Now, this is not cheap gear, but it is something to consider if you have HDMI or SDI and all those things. Well, that's it for me today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe. You guys are amazing. I'm Darren Giant. See you next time. Peace.